Uh, we're here at the Davis Mountain Preserve in the Davis Mountains just below Mount Livermore and we're doing this for the Millennium Seed Bank project. Uh, the project, uh, its basic goal is to collect 10% of the world's seed bearing flora by 2010, which is uh, the end of next year, uh, which is roughly 24,000 species. And it looks like we will collect that many. Uh, Lady Bird Johnson is just one small part of the project. The project is global. And we're one of, I believe, five or six groups that are collecting throughout the United States. And I like to refer to this project as a proactive conservation project because most of our work as conservation biologists is, uh, involves knee-jerk reactions to, oh my God, there's the last one, we've got to do something. And this is really way out in front of the curve. Um, these plants are not at any risk. They uh, are not you know, going to be listed anytime soon. They're not endangered. They are the very foundation of the plant communities. And what we're doing is we're storing these seeds against possible extinction in the wild? Well, uh, in different areas of the world, it's important for different reasons. Uh, here in Texas, I think that it's mainly the, we're, we're conserving and preserving the, the natural history of Texas. Uh, you know, in a case like this, where we're out here in the Davis Mountains on 30,000 acres, you know, it's kind of hard to believe that any of these things can be lost, but most of our collecting in the beginning was down around urban areas such as Austin or Houston. And since then, we've gone back to revisit some of those populations and they're, they're no longer there. Either a you know, strip mall or some sort of urbanization has occurred. It'll be easy to get 10,000 of these. Yeah. The seeds are so tiny. I feel sorry for the person who has to count them. Have a seat, make yourself right. comfortable. Okay. Oh, yeah. And let's see. I'm sorry? I'm in. Uh, we've got three on this one. How do you feel about squishy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> and there's two quotes that I really like, and I, I spout them off to everybody all the time. One is by Aldo Leopold. Um, and he said, Whenever you tinker with nature, be sure you keep all of the parts. Okay? We don't know what gifts these plants that we're, we're working on cleaning seed today. We don't know what gifts they have for us. We have no idea. Once again, cure for cancer, brand new food source, a biofuel, a cheap source of biofuel. We don't know, so we can't throw them away. Um, and what we're looking for here is basically these little things right here. That's the seed. So, so it's, it's actually this intricate web of life. And you begin removing any one species or several species, uh, then you lose that biodiversity. Uh, I'm sure you probably know. I try to uh, to paint a bigger picture to show that plants do have a life. They're not just there, they're not just green. There's lots of animals depending on them. We in the end depend on the plants. We depend on functioning e ecosystems. And uh, the plants form the basis. It's a fine balance. If you disturb it, it's very difficult to restore. What we forget is that we're just another animal species. And we have removed ourselves from uh, natural selection to a point that we don't really understand anymore what we depend upon, and that's when the trouble begins. So if you destroy what you actually need to live, you're doing a very stupid thing. And we're doing our best at the moment to do just that. You know, most of us who are involved in this project just love these plants and these landscapes just because they're here. And, um, you know, maybe that's reason enough to want to save them, to save the seeds. It's kind of dry now, but if it was like another rain event or something, it would cause these guys to kind of twist and throw the seed off. 
I, I appreciate the, all the efforts that are put into preservation of properties and conservation of properties and and Lord knows I like to collect seeds and, and bank them and, and grow them. I mean it's it's not like I disagree with that, but it's just a it's just wondering if we could put enough energy into just leaving a piece of land alone and letting it evolve the way it's going to evolve. I just wonder if that might not be better than, you know, just continuing to tinker. Well, I guess basically it means sort of chance to preserve biodiversity with the, you know, putting representative seeds in the seed bank. There's also the idea that, you know, maybe some of these species could be used down the road for something that we don't even know about yet. So to have, to have viable seed to possibly use them for that sort of thing is a pretty cool idea too. But mainly I'm interested in it just for the, the conservation and the preservation side of things. Just want to save the world. <laughs> That's it. It's time to get serious about this. We depend on this, this thing called the earth. And if we can't take care of the earth, the earth simply won't take care of us. Our mother nature might just take care of us. So, um, you know, it's all a, a teamwork, basically, as one species, living off one another, living hopefully in harmony with one another, like nature intended. So that's, that's gonna be a part of that. And you know, there's always gonna be people who say, you know, who cares? You know, there's lots of plants in the world, and there are you know, a potential uh, flora of about 600,000 species, and what if one or two or three or 700 go away? Who really cares? Well, we care, and there's a lot of us who care, and honestly, the ranks are growing. The ranks continue to grow.